Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcad. So I wanted to come back to this part sample and look at a different way of modeling this to get uh, the same result. Um, so a couple of things we need to do. The first thing I'm going to do is rotate this geometry. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees in Z. Uh, I'm sorry, I need to rotate it uh, uh, 45 degrees in Z. The reason why I'm doing this is I want to get this whole location uh, lined up with the x-axis. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, circle here and I'm going to put it on its own layer. And then the next thing I'm going to do is uh, select the rest of this stuff and get rid of it and then now I want to make this back into a full circle so I'm gonna modify it turn it back into a full circle okay so now from here I'm gonna take uh, <clears throat> take this arc and I'm gonna modify that one as well and turn that back to a full circle Okay, so now I want to I want to create I want to extrude this as a, a cylinder, and I want to do so at uh, 10 degrees. So what I'm going to do is go to my UCS. I'm going to add a new UCS. I'm going to rotate it, and in X, I'm going to make it 10 degrees, and I'll choose OK. So what that means is whatever I draw or whatever I do when I when I extrude it's gonna extrude it uh, normal to that plane so let me see if I can do this so here we have our curve and this curve I'm gonna do at five in one direction five in the other direction and I'll choose okay alright so now I have this uh, cylinder drawn uh, 10 degrees uh, okay hold on a second let me undo that let's extrude and I want to extrude along uh, Z and then I'll choose OK alright and then we'll go back to the top view so now I have this uh, curve extruded at uh, 10, uh, 10 degrees from here what I want to do is go back to this shape and let's extrude this this is going to be 3.5 in this direction 3.5 in that direction and we'll choose OK so that gives us that shape there then I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees make three copies and that will go around so now we have that like that and then from here I can boolean these away and then now those are cut out so this is uh, you know we're accomplishing the same result but the methodology that we're using is a little bit different so instead of using the wireframe and creating surfaces between the wireframes uh, really what we're doing is adjusting our user coordinate system to be rotated uh, at the angle that we want to extrude at and so when we extrude it follows the normal of that uh, user coordinate system so that's uh, that's uh, one way to do it now if you don't want to use the extrude curves for some reason let's go back to this this plane and let's turn this back on let me delete this solid here let me go ahead and uh, measure this entity. Okay, so what we'll do now is let me create a new layer and I'll turn these other ones off. I'll go back to my plane. Again, this plane is tilted at the 10 degrees in X. From here, I'm gonna draw this circle and I'm gonna use my, uh, my location. So I have X is 
4.15. I have my radius of 1.5, so we look good there, and we'll choose OK. Now, what's different about this one is it's actually uh, drawn uh, along that plane. The other one was drawn in the XY and then extruded along uh, the coordinate system, where this one it's actually drawn along that plane. So we could again do our extrusion. Really, there isn't much difference here. Uh, the only thing that's different is uh, just extruding uh, with the starting geometry flat with the plane versus it being uh, flat with the world coordinate system. So, or if you wanted to do a cylinder here, we could do a cylinder as well. So we could do solid cylinder. Uh, if we're going to do our cylinder, we can set our um, our x dimension 4.15. We can uh, set our radius, which is 1.5, and then our height. We made that five. Okay. So we'll choose OK. And then now if we want to mirror that on the other side, we can say copy, mirror. So now we have that on the other side. OK, but what you're going to find is that whether you do it by adjusting the plane or not, you're going to see that, um, that if we extrude this like we did before or whether we used a cylinder, that we're going to end up in the same we're going to end up with the solid in the same location. So it doesn't matter whether we're using a cylinder. Uh, it doesn't matter whether we start on that plane or not. Once we tilt our coordinate system, uh, that's the direction when we extrude along Z that it's going to extrude along. And then you can copy it around to make the other shapes like we did before. So uh, just a, a little different workflow uh, to accomplish the same result. If you guys have any uh, feedback or questions, please reply back to the Facebook, the YouTube, or whatever thread this video may be posted in. Thank you so much, guys.